We're getting closer and closer until the day Sony is going to reveal their new subscription service for a PlayStation called Spartacus. And according to multiple reports, um, Sony is going to start unveiling it starting this week. So we should expect um, to get something either tomorrow, Monday the 28th, uh, Tuesday the 29th, Wednesday the 30th, or Thursday the 31st. But um, around that week, we should be expecting something from Sony. But yeah, um, according to multiple reports, Sony is going to start unveiling um, Project Spartacus this week. And um, for those who's wondering how this subscription service is going to work, um, there's a major link going around um, slash rumor of um, basically how it's going to work and how much um, it's going to cost. So um, for um, Project Spartacus, there's going to be a total of three tiers. So basically, you um, if you get the expensive one, you're going to have the better um, experience on this uh, subscription service. So you're going to have the better experience, the um, better um um, games and all that so it depends on which um, subscription service you get which um, one you end up buying but um, anyways here's a, um, the link okay so it says that um, tier one is going to be called um, East, um, essential and that one is going to cost ten dollars and the one that's called Esen um, essential which is the tier one that's just going to give you palatium plus games so um Every monthly, you're going to get a new um, free PS Plus game. So that one is going to be only for uh, PlayStation Plus. So if you get the Tier 1 Essential, you're just going to get um, PlayStation Plus games. And that one is going to cost $10 on um, Spartacus. And um, the other tier, Tier 2, is called Extra. And the Extra Tier, Tier 2, that one is going to cost $13.00. And um, that one is going to give you over a total of 250 to 300 games. So you're going to get a total of 250 slash 300 games. So um, that is going to be basically kind of like Pleasure Now. And um, that one is just going to give you like um, games that you could download. Like basically what Pleasure Now had. Because you know how like the PS4 games that were on Pleasure Now that you probably haven't owned... Um, if you had a PS Now subscription, you would have been able to like download that and had it on your library with uh, PS Now. So basically, that um, is basically uh, for Tier Two called Extra. You'll be able to like download two hundred fifty slash three hundred games. And um, the other tier, and this one is called Premium. This is Tier Three, and this one looks like this one is going to be the better one. And this one is the one probably a lot of people are going to go with. And this one is uh, costs $16, Tier 3, called Premium. And this one is going to give you a total of, um, you're going to get, like, full game trials. So you're going to be able to try out trials for full game. And um, who knows, um, we may actually get something like um, um, Game Pass, where we'll be able to, like, try out the game on launch. But... Just to clarify, they said that that's not going to be the case, but who knows? Um, it hasn't got confirmed yet. But yeah, um, anyways, we're uh, for that one, we're going to get like full game trials. And not only that, but um, the Tier 3 um, Premium is also going to give us classic games. So we may get um, games like uh, Sl um, Sly Cooper. We may get like the classic um, Crash Bandicoot games. We may get like stuff like um, the old school burnout games. We may get like classic games like I hope we get something like um, Panzer Dragoon Saga because uh, that was one of the, like the classic RPG retro games right there that ended up eventually coming out on like the wrong console. But um, hopefully with Spartacus we get something like that added on uh, this uh, subscription. And um, hopefully, um, if they're talking about, like, classic games, um, hopefully we end up, for that one, we also end up getting, like, um, PS3 games. Because they did say with the subscription, um, we're going to get um, PS1, PS2, PS3, and PSP games added to this um, subscription service. And that's probably going to be, like, for Tier 3, because that's the one that 
um, comes with uh, full game trials and classic games. So um, not only like PS1, PS2 games, but also PS3 and PSP games. So that's going to be the one a lot of people are going to get to try out like classic retro games, including like PS3 games that they haven't played for a long time. So uh, that's um, costing $16. And hopefully um, on this subscription, hopefully for that tier, um, we get games like the Skate franchise. Because um, I'm a huge um, skate fan. Like, I played a lot of skating games, but there was nothing like EA Skate. Like, I love the way, like, the skating um, controls were. Like, it felt a lot different compared to, like, the Tony um, Hawk um, games. But, um, anyways, um, hopefully we get, like, the EA Skate 1, EA Skate 2, and EA um, Skate 3. Because uh, those ones have not made its way to... Uh, Pleasure 4, which sucked because I've spent almost a lot of time playing that on PS3, especially Skate 3, because it had a lot of really cool skate maps. But yeah, hopefully Skate 3 gets added on there. And one of the things that never got added on PS Nail, which was got me really frustrating, but they had the third one on there, was hopefully um, Dead Space on there. Because uh, we never got, like, Dead Space 1 or Dead Space 2 on PS Now. Which uh, sucked because the only uh, one they had on um, Pleasure Now was Dead Space 3. And if I had to be honest with you, that was one of, the, like, the baddest Dead Space games right there. Like, it was nothing compared to the first two games. Like, Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 were really amazing. Like, not only the gameplay was amazing but of how horrifying and terrifying the game was. But the third one, like, the gameplay wasn't all that great, and plus they made it kind of, like, less scary, if that makes sense. And I'm not the only one that thinks this, but a lot of people as well did not like the third one, and it, it sucked how that was the only one they had on PS Now. But um, hopefully with this new subscription, it'll give us, the like, the chance to play the... The first two games, Dead, um, Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2. And now with the new remake coming out pretty soon, that's coming for PS5 since they're remaking the first one. Since Dead Space 1 is getting a remake, then they have to put the original first game on um, this Spartacus um, subscription service. But yeah, hopefully Dead Space 1 and 2 gets added to this uh, subscription service. But yeah, not only I want um, Dead Space uh, 1 and 2, and not only I wanted, like, the um, Skate franchise, and not only I hope, like, the old Burnout games get added, but um, as a huge uh, Need for Speed ge uh, fan, if you guys are into racing games, um, hopefully we get the old school Need for Speed games added on there. And I, as much as I love those games, I hope they also keep... Um, Sly Cooper, because the, the whole Sly Cooper games were on PS Now, and hopefully um, they still have them on the, when it comes to the new sub subscription service, because I love Sly Cooper. That was my childhood game right there. But yeah, um, anyways, um, PlayStation Spartacus is supposed to be getting unveiled um, this week, so expect it to get revealed either uh, Monday Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday, but around that week, Monday through Thursday. But yeah, um, according to multiple re uh, reports, it's supposed to be getting um, unveiled this week. But yeah, um, anyways, hope you guys liked the video. Comment below. Don't forget, the, don't forget to subscribe for more. Turn on notifications. And let me know what you guys think of these uh, tiers. And uh, if I have to be honest with y'all, um, I think... If I had to choose between all three of them, I think uh, the third tier would probably be the better one, which a lot of people are probably going to get that one. Not only you'll be getting like full game trials, and hopefully they add like full games on there too, but um, that's probably going to be the one that's also going to give us um, like um, not only we're going to get full games, but that's the one that's going to give us um, classic games. So, for those who's been growing up with, like, get, uh, like classic games that were on PS1, PS2, or, like, classic games that were on PS3 or PSP, 
we'll we'll be get, given the chance to be able to um, play those if we get the um, tier three subscription, which that's probably going to be the one I'm going to be going for that I'm going to be sticking with. But um, yeah, um, let me know which tier you guys are going to get. But anyways, hope you guys li like the video and see you guys next time. Peace.